Grammys. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Drew and your boy P, man. And we finally back with another episode of Sunday, Sunday Night, Night Kick Talk, Talk baby. We so happy to be back, man. We missed you guys. You know, it's been, I feel like it's been a few months or so a long wow, ass time. It's like you're new to this shit again. Yeah, so, man, we happy to be back, man. But we had to take a little hiatus, man, to, you know, to mourn the loss of a, a 409 legend. A legend in the, the whole Golden Triangle, even in Houston. People feeling this loss that far, like. Yeah, we just had to take our time to mourn the loss of our friend Antonio Aton Wilson. Um RIP to my boy man, like it's like we don't even know where to start with this. Even man. It's crazy, start, so. man. It's crazy. First of all, you gotta start with a shot fire nigga, man. Take a shot fire. Like Tony and say, man, we know we drink we drank that Hennessy almost every night, man. He like, drink till you stink, man. <laughs> drink till you will really stink. So this is you Tom, baby. You Tom, baby. Bro. Here we go. Peter, my boy, man. Peter, Tom, man. For, for those of you guys that don't know, Aton was a, he was just an all around good guy. Like, he had a good heart. He was a good friend, a good brother. Just, he gave back to his community. In my opinion, he was like, when Nipsey Hussle is to, to LA and Crenshaw, he was like, all right, Nipsey Hussle. To, to for, the whole Fall Night area. It don't matter, PA, Orange. Yeah. This man was respected everywhere. He was somewhere. like the first person around here to get buried at, at uh, Ford, Ford Arena. Ford Arena, that's big. Yeah, like, he was at Ford Arena. Man. Nobody's, I've never been to a funeral at Ford Arena, so that was, that was definitely, was big, that man. just lets you know like how how big this man was. Had Perk speaking at the funeral, and Pastor Adolf, he had some big people speaking. Like, it was just, man, crazy. It was a blessing to see him go out like that, man. And I'm happy he went out like that, but it's just crazy that he gone, man. Yeah, it, like, just, it just don't feel right. It's gonna take feel right, man. It's gonna, it's it's not gonna feel right. I feel like like the whole city feel. I I feel like we all feeling this. Like it ain't just like like my prayers go to his, his immediate family, but I feel like all his friends and all his his brothers and his just everybody feeling this in their in their heart. So so man, rest in peace to my boy Tom. He was gone way too soon, way too soon. Yeah. We gonna stay strong for you, Tom. You know what I'm saying? We know you. You know you with us. He was our biggest supporter, man. Biggest supporter. Biggest supporter. Like this. Promoted everything we did, man. He believed in us 100. Nobody else believed in us. Aton did. So he called us the Drake, the Drake and Future of this shit, man. That's crazy. He called us the Drake and Future. This. He promoted every day. So every day. So we gonna keep going hard for my boy, man. Yeah, for sure. For those of y'all like everybody that's feeling down, like that, don't feel like. Doing nothing because of this, man. Just, just go hard for Tom because he. Got to, that's what he would have wanted us to do, man. Just go hard right. for everybody. Definitely. So everybody out there feeling down and sad, we, we with you, but we, we got to do it for Tom. We got to push through for Tom. Got to, man. Twenty twenty been a bad one. We got to make the most of it, man. And we just got to make show. the most. You just got to make the most out of your life. If I can't say one thing, a hey, Tom, he lived his purpose. He touched a lot of people. Like show, show charities, he, touched, like everything. he touched the whole community. Like he gave back. He was a he gave back to all the youth. Like he was in his community. Like for sure, man. he was he was friends with everybody. Like this, I. It's I not me. Lot, yeah, they got a lot of people that can post a comment or, or some kind of message that he sent to them yeah. personally. Like yeah, like I was I was seeing like the, a few days after he passed. Like everybody was posting messages yeah, or like he missing, like or he pictures. Wanted to see everybody doing good, man. Yeah, so man, this this really hurt to see my boy gone. Yeah, we want justice for Tom for sure, man. Just we gotta like get justice Tom. for Tom. That shit great. Oh, definitely, man. For sure, for sure, but man, we gonna get into you know what I'm saying. So, so this whole I'll, episode I'll, gonna be dedicated, dedicated to Tom. This is Tom. It's our Sunday night kicks out. Hey, Tom edition, Tom man. Edition, so I'm gonna let you go first. What you got on? Uh, first, I know y'all see me in something new. I'm rocking Air Force Ones, man, for my nigga Tom. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm saying he 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 rock, originally he rocked his unit. This one his first unit. Cause he, me and Drew inspired him so much to get back dressing. You know what I'm saying? Coming swagged out. So this is his first unit when he got back on the sheet came to both cop for me and Drew. He see the gate came cop this unit. So I wore this, this unit in, in honor of Tom, man, with the forces, man. He had some hard white ones on, but I got something new on, you know what I'm some, saying? Some I don't even rock forces, so y'all know. Remix, yeah. yeah, a little remix to the unit. Okay. You know what you got on, Drew? Well, 
but I'm gonna start out my boy Love D. I didn't even like on one of the previous episodes, you know, I didn't really I wasn't really feeling these, but I had to pull them out for my boy Tom. I had to go ahead and cop. He he really loved these fives. He's he's great alternate fives, so I had to do it. And I had to pull out he loved pink dolphin, as you can see. He go on his Instagram, he had a few pink dolphin shirts. And it's actually like a few days before he passed, he came in the store and told me to hold this shirt. Um, and said he'll be back and cop it. So I for sure had to throw this one on because I knew I knew he would have had you would have seen him with this on on his Instagram. So so yeah, so that's why what, what I got on today. So let's get into the shoe reviews, man. Our shoe reviews this week is just gonna be basically dedicated to Tom. Hey, everything dedicated to Tom. Man. Everything he probably liked or he had on. Most of them he had on. For sure. Seen him with on or he liked for sure. So. Well, there's a reason behind whatever shoe we picked, really, to be honest. Yeah, so. This ain't his most favorite shoe, we ain't gonna say that, but. Yeah, we could get. Yeah, this had something to do with most of us, like, we might remember him by. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get into first, dude. Alright, so, uh, let's get into these little Air Force Ones oh, right here. Man. Um, you might have seen these on his, one of his last Instagram posts. He had on a yeah. pink dolphin shirt, tie dye. Yeah. It was hard. He had a hard fit, you know. Yeah. He copped the. He was with him when he, he copped took the picture, man. Yeah. I was like, man, I took the picture for him, man. We don't post a picture, but it's the the picture I posted for him yeah. with these shoes on, man. With the little outfit we did, I picked out for him. Yeah, this that was a hard fit. Like he yeah. was, like a lot of people forgot. A Tone would dress like yeah. that, man. Hard. Like, a Tone would come with it. He can't come with it for, for the big boys. For the big boy, he can't with it. No. For sure. So for yeah, sure. this is one of his last little. Little shoes he put on one of his fit, so yeah. that's what we, that's the meaning we picked pick this. Um, uh, we gotta do the next shoe. We gotta do these LeBron nines, man. Just yeah. tell us the story behind this shoe. Is the LeBron nine elite South Beach edition, it, and these really special to me. I'm glad I never sold these. Uh, I was tempted to to get rid of them, but I'm glad I never did. Um, me and Aton camped outside of uh, House of Hoops, <laughs> North Line Mall. Um, when these dropped, me and Tom, we waited outside literally from like <laughs> 9, 9 p.m. that night, the night before to like 8 a.m. the next night. We literally stand outside of the, stood outside of the freeway the whole night to get that's these tough. shoes. Oh, like, that is tough. And I'll never, I'll never yeah. forget that. That's, that's probably one of my, my most favorite moments with my boy because we was out there just joking around the whole night. We actually, we made, we, we was actually in the back of the line and we, by the time the store opened, we, we somehow got our way up to the front. Like we cut a lot of people and a lot of people was mad, yeah. but, uh, I'll never forget, I'll never forget that moment. Boy, Aton, I LeBron, Aton was a big LeBron fan big too. Lebron D Wade fan, fan too. No, D Wade was his favorite, but LeBron, oh man, he loved LeBron. LeBron. For sure. So these are always, these are always be be dear to me like oh, I'll never let these go because yeah. this is one of his favorite shoes I, I can't tell you that so yeah. that was a special moment me and Tom Sherry. And uh, the LeBron All-Star Sevens man uh actually man this one me and Juke so I getting back to the LeBrons yeah. like talking about and he kept bugging me about these shoes to get up a pair. And I really just like, man, Tom, you just only do it because we do it. Because we do it. But he did love LeBron, so I couldn't say that, though. Yeah. But he wanted these, though, bad, man. Yeah, he I, was I, I you on yeah. Instagram, on. Huh? Every day. I couldn't Sorry. find him a pair, but he went try to find him a pair bad, tough. He worked one of these. So these kind of mean a lot to me, man. Just seeing these shoes, man. I just remember to think about the time. He just hit me up 4 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, yeah, I need him to beat this. Just yeah. find me a pair. Like, Tom, yeah. shut up. Look up, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it's not good. I'ma get you a pair, man. The boy was a big LeBron fan. A big LeBron lie, fan, man. for real. Like, man. We couldn't find, we couldn't get our hands on the LeBrons we really wanted to show, like that yeah. he really had. Yeah. But we we got some yeah, of the stuff. Most of the stuff he really like. The latest stuff he really wanted, like he yeah. fucked with. Yeah. All right. So the next pair. We're next gonna pair to... was the Hyper Warriors, man. I remember when he came, cop these from me. I had two pairs of back. I had a size 11, 11 half. I wanted to cop two pair of them because they were slept on. Yeah. And he talked me into selling them my 11 and a half. I was mad. But he ended up copping them, man, with a uh, with a play, play shirt. Play clothes, tie-dye yeah. shirt. Yeah, my boy man. real big into that tie-dye too, man. Real big into that tie-dye, man. He, well, it was, we was big into it. <laughs> he felt like, he looked, he looked for me like, y'all inspiration for life for me and Drew. That's the reason why he started back dressing like he did because he had yeah. stopped dressing like he just didn't care no more. But he started getting back into it, messing around with me and Drew, man. And this is one of the shoes he wore 
You know what I'm saying? To get his swag back right. Yeah, that was a clean fit. Like, that, like a nice little clean fit with him, man. We're gonna show that. Yeah, it was hard. I felt that fit too, though. Oh, man, this pair right here. <laughs> All right, so this is like one of the pairs, like when I first, like, my, within my first year working at City Gear. It's one of my, like, kind of like the one I'm saying, one of the first or uh, the second pair ones I bought at City Gear. Yeah. And so. This was his first pair of, like, Nike Air ones, right? That he caught from us. Yeah. That he caught from us. Yeah. So this is the pair of like when Ju first moved to our store in Port Arthur, and Ju went to uh, a our store event in uh, New Orleans. In, in New Orleans. Yeah. So and he was really so adamant about getting these shoes. He told he was like, man, Ju don't give me them shoes on my college girl. <laughs> told me he cheap, cheap. He was so mad. And, like he was so mad that he thought he wouldn't get these shoes. That he thought he, he was like he was gonna call Ju girl to. To get him, get him in trouble. That man, that shit was so crazy. And <laughs> he came through them shoes up. He was so happy, man. That, that was crazy. Man. He was so happy about these shoes, man. And he still had them to the. Still had them this day. I actually had them. I had actually sniped them from. I took them out of this trip. He was bad as hell. So, but I ended up giving them back to him. So, but I'm gonna try to get my hands back on the shoes, man. I've been talking to, uh, get my boy mother talk to his mom, man. I'm trying to get these shoes back from her, man. I need these, man. In honor of my boy, man. Yeah, but these, these shoes mean a lot to me, like because of the simple fact he had them. So if I don't, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to get another pair. I'm gonna have to. All right. The next thing. pair we're gonna get into is a, a little classic old school shoe. Yeah. Um, the uh, Air Jordan Retro Two Candy, candy Red out of the Candy Pack. Um, these released in like 2010, so it's kind of yeah. a throwback. Sure, I know we had to show them a couple times. Oh, you know yeah. I'm big on two, so yeah. So yeah, like my boy had these on one. in a uh, in a party. I forgot what party it was. It might have been one of the academic probation parties or yeah. something. But he had a flannel on with this, and he was clean yeah, with it. So Tom's be fresh. So. Uh, yeah, he he was fresh, man. He was supposed to be one of our guests on the on the show, man. The boy had guests. some heat, man. Drew got a picture of one of his players. We're gonna pull that up for y'all too. When this collection had, back in the day, this is back in the day. Little slight picture, man. Little yeah. slight picture. You just took a picture of his collection real quick, man. Yeah, so yeah. Boy, this, he, for sure. Yeah, these on in a party. I, I, he was cleaning these, so this is why we uh, sure, sure. pick these. All right. So the next shoe we gonna get into is the Nike Phone Posit One Candy Red. Yeah. This is the 2012 pair, not the. I know they released a few years ago again, but this is the 2012 pair. As you can see, mine a little still icy. So, yeah. um, Tom was the first. He was the the person that put me on phones. I ain't gonna lie. That's another memory I got. Like, I can't say like coming out of high school, coming to Lamar, like he put me on to a whole like a whole another swag. Like, yeah. like he got me out of Jabos and <laughs> uh, like just. Joy, Air Jordan, like he put me on different stuff, and he put a lot of people on uh, at Lamar on on phones, it's like different swag too. So yeah, like, deal with the phone. So I can I can give him his credit, man. He did he did turn me on to a, a whole another outlet of like fashion. Yeah. And so I I don't know. Without him, I don't know where I'd be. I'd probably still be dressing like you know <laughs> a lot of people out here. Yeah. So uh, I know he had these. I don't know if we have a picture of him in them, but. He did get these when they yes, came. I don't want to say his favorite pair was the love, uh, purple ones. That was purple one. one. Uh, the purple and orange ones. ones. Yeah, the purple. Yeah. I forgot the name of them. But it was like probably his favorite pair. I think it's the Phoenix Suns. Yeah. Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Suns. Yeah, yeah, Phoenix Suns. He had a picture of him in the uh, Born Fly team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He 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 probably was an OG. Besides Big Lou and, and Vic and them, like Tom was a, a phone. Oh, yeah, for real, like the show when they, when they first started well, popping up. Big, if it know. wasn't for him, like I know a lot of people, like he turned me on. I turned a lot of people on as well. Sure. And uh, like actually, the next pair we get into the electric blue. These came out in 2011. This is another shoe I never uh, let go of because this is my first pair of phones I actually bought, and Tom took me to get them in <laughs> uh, in House of Hoops uh, in the Galleria. The house of hoops, boy. It took me. That was still on the shelf. Like nobody was messing with this one. Phones was like nobody was messing with phones. Like yeah, nobody hype. messing with them now. Like they fell off. I feel like. Yeah, they did. Yeah. But this one, like before the hype, they had that little run. For sure. For these, sure. Yeah, yeah, these yeah. came out like 2011, I believe, or 2012. But uh, this was my first pair of phones I ever bought. The Electric Blues. Yeah. And then I, I remember Tom wore these in one of our flyer uh, back to school flyer shoes. Uh, what it was, uh, I forgot. We're gonna pull up the flyer, but he wore these with like a little, 
little jean vest, a little yeah. San Antonio Spurs throwback hat. Like he was clean with these. Like he really put on for you, for the big dudes out there. He was a pioneer. So, yeah. so shout out to Tone, man, for these, man. Get into the next one, P. All right, next we got the Jordan Eights, man. Oh man, he, this pal, he, he used to love this pal. Pies. I don't know, like that, that dude in this pair. I don't know what it was about these pair. <laughs> I, I love them too, like. Yeah. Shout out to D Mac. Yeah, but no, because they was limited, though. They was oh. limited. The another thing, but. I actually got these like in 2013 or 14. Yeah. At D Mac from Lamar, shout out to my boy. Hooked me up with these. They were still, they still icy, as you can see. I barely wear them. Yeah. But like I these. these shoes, man. Like he, he, we got a picture of them in them. Like he was, yeah. he was hard and like, like real and shit. He was like, yeah, like he was, he was clean, like, man. Yeah, like fresh, yeah. Tom stayed fresh for sure. Stayed fresh. Like he yeah, had fell off for a little minute, but we, I feel like, like he said, we we motivated him to get back on his yeah. his fly stuff and um, she start coming just start stepping yeah. with it. So yeah, yeah, these these came out like, like in 07. I think yeah, they released the 07. Like 06 to 09, I feel like that was like the best run of, of Jordan sneakers ever. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. Like they, like back in my high school days, like these came out like my sophomore year. Yeah, these was tough though, man. It was tough. I just, thought, I just couldn't rock the blue and orange. I'm gonna get yeah, right I'm a big fan of blue and orange. That's why I can't really wear me. I don't have too many blue and orange clothes, but. It was tough, they had the little fit, that little fit he had on was tough, though. It was tough, for sure, for sure. So I mean, uh, next we're just gonna get into a real like just give it like y'all a couple of pictures of Tom, probably like you know what I'm saying, about ten or twelve pictures, just go through a couple of pictures of Tom man, and see, you know what I'm saying, just get y'all a glimpse of what he how he used to come in, how yeah. fresh he used to be, man. Yeah. My boy sure. came with it. We can stop it now. Man, he was having great debates about this all the time. 
<laughs> I feel like he ain't one of the friends, but Tone fuck with Yellow Bees for some reason, man. I don't man. feel like he got swag like that either. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like he got swag, but he, this unit kind of fresh, though. I fuck with the unit, man. I can't go wrong with all black, and he got the Versace jacket on, the, yeah. the chain reaction on, so you can't go wrong with that plus the chains. Yeah. That's one thing I do uh, record, like I salute him on the chain. That nigga chains be fire. I like that nigga chains, though. That nigga chains be hard. Yeah, I know he did. He had, did the shag, too, the cut. Yeah. I don't know if he still got it, and I don't keep up with him like that, but. Not really, yeah. But yeah, he, he holding it down for the dollar, the triple D out yeah, there. I know. Sure, for sure. He put the D back on. Hey, at Tone, at Tone, Tone fucked fuck with it, so you know, we got to put it on the show. So, shout out to that fit, though. I'm gonna, like that I can beast. say that I fuck with that fit, though. That yeah. is hard, though. Yeah, for you know sure. Saying? Something slight, but you know what I'm saying? Cleaning the bitch. So. All right, next we got my boy, Key Glock Key Lizzo. Key Glock, yeah. Uh, you know, we just talked about Memphis, the boys from Memphis. They be clean, they be putting it on. Yeah. Like, Glock, one of my favorite. Artists that be you getting fresh right. and stuff like right now he got on the you know UNC ones, yeah. some slight with a little I don't know what kind of polo design on for sure. Yeah, it's, it's fresh though, don't sound some cool shit yeah, like that's you know. my thing with him. He be he Gucci, he designer down, yeah. but he'll have some some regular J's on like he make it he'll make it look clean. Like, like Tom said, we got no general release king. General release king. Glock like, got that. Keep Glock got the he the general release king man. It's one of Glock for, so he fuck with Glock for sure. For Glock sure. for sure doing it like he he be putting it on yeah, like for sure. sure. Like so shout out to Glock. Shout out to Glock, baby. Right. Okay, so next we got our boy Cocash. This is one of the Tom favorite swagged out artists from like another one from Memphis as well, Memphis, man. Yeah. He she, he swagged and it be fresh, I can't lie. I Tom gonna, brought it to my attention, so I ain't gonna lie, I never heard of him till today, to yeah. be honest. So Yeah, so it's but another one of Tom He look like he be clean. He though. be clean, I ain't gonna lie, Tom. Something about 30 pictures in here, man. For he said, this boy, how I did post it? my deals, like, well, I'm telling you, boy, come tell me, you boy. <laughs> tell me. Man, fuck with Tom Cassidy. Uh, he, he fresh, dog. I fuck with the little fit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Boy, be coming with a dog. I'll check his page out. He like, come with it, though, for sure. Like, yeah, like I said, Memphis, like, yeah. it's, ain't too much you can say about them, boy. Yeah, they be clean, though, for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah. All right, last but not least, we got my boy Fab. F O B O L O U B. He's gonna say O G in the game. This drip king. I know people be hating on him and stuff, but like my boy be clean. You can't hate on Fab. My boy be clean, like he be. He been doing this since the 90s. He been pulling out old school shit lately too, like shit from 07, like old school forces, like. He come with it. He been. You can't. Hey, Tom, I agree with you on this one. Like he one of my favorites too. Like 100 percent Fab, yeah, he. He a drip king to me, like, nobody drip harder than Fab, dog. Yeah, like, he, he be putting it off for real. Like, he put it off for, like, the old school niggas, too. Because, you know, he he old school now. Like, he came out when we was young. He, killing, like, he still killing the team. game, though. He keeping up, like. He still killing the game. He keeping up with the with the trends. Like, I know a lot of old people be falling out. Like, yeah. they try to, oh, we used to wear bag. We, <laughs> we used to the baggy jeans. He still doing like, it. Like, he, he, Fab was he still blend doing in. It. Like, yeah, so Perfect. shout out to Fab, man. Shout out to Fab. Yeah. So that pretty much wraps up eight tones. All the people he looked week, up. Though. Yeah. All of the week. Yeah. So next we're gonna get into we're not gonna do splash past the trash. So we're just really posting some of the shoes that Tom looked forward to copying when they release. So that's what we're basically doing. We're just gonna give what we think about it. But yeah. some of the some of the shoes Tom looked forward to copying. You know what I'm saying? When they come out, either when they come out or just going back and copying he missed. All right, so the first shoe we're gonna get into is a shoe that's supposed to drop in October, I believe. Yeah, it came out in overseas or like Asia yeah. in like a month ago or so. Like, yeah. but they come out in the states in like October. It's the Royal Blue Cement Threes. Cement Threes. Um, jump in on the back. Yeah, you like got, I, I'm just a must cop for me. I'm yeah. Still. I, I cop them too. I'm fucking with them. The only, like I said in the previous episode, on the previous episode, my only uh thing is the Nike Air on the back. Yeah, they should have put the Nike Air. Yeah. You know, you got the real ones. You put They've the Nike Air. Been going strong with the Nike Air on the back. Why not put the Nike Air on the back? You put them on the Japan ones. that's about to drop, and yeah. but you didn't put them on them. They put the jump man. I mean, I'm not too. I mean, I'm still, I'll still cop, but like something like that just makes it a must cop yeah. for me. Like with the, the Nike, Nike Air on the back, shall we? Oh, yeah. so on that's my only flaw with these shoes is the the jump man. But yeah, I agree with Tone. I definitely I cop, definitely cop with Tone. Sure. All right, so next we got the Supreme Nike Dunk collab. Uh, I wasn't too big on these. I kind of we kind of got into a little debate about these too because I wasn't really fucking with them. But you know what I'm I think that would be. He, I think Tone would have killed the fit with them for sure. That, you can ask, you can kill the fit with them, but I'm not too big on them. 
So I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking forward to even going back and trying to cop. I don't think they're really going for much though. Yeah. But I guess because it's a, the Supreme collab, they're probably going for a little something over about three hundred dollars over with the retailer. But they, yeah, they I'm proud. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Like I, I'm just not. I love white, red, and white. But I don't know. It's just something about them. I'm not too big on them. Like, like I got the St. John's and yeah. I don't know. They just they they just not doing it for me. So yeah, like, sure. I, I ain't go. I probably pass it on these yeah. for sure. So sorry, Tom. We gotta pass. It. We gotta, <laughs> gotta keep it real, Tom. You know, real, Tom. You know we would have kept it real. You know, with yeah, you. he would have kept it real with us too. So we gotta keep it real with Tom. That's the pass for Like I told him, I already ain't told him about this. I'm like, I don't fuck with him, Tom. <laughs> All right, next. So we got the Anime Instinct Nine Fives. Man, they came out with the uh, with the little pack with the Air Max Ones. I wanna say sixteen. 15, 16, 17? Probably like 17. Probably. 18, huh? Yeah. Man. I mean, we're not sure, we're not sure, man. It's yeah, like, they're not that long ago, but they, 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 they not they new. Fire, I like them, I like yeah. them, though. For sure, like, don't, not, I don't really like 9.5 like that, but these was hard. Yeah, these was hard. For sure, the Air Max 1s was hard, for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I like them. I, li I like them, like, I mess with them. These like, pretty cool, though. I probably wouldn't cop them, though, but them, they live, but I like them. I like them, for sure. So, what you, pa you copping or passing them? I'll pass them. Yeah. I, <laughs> I wouldn't cop, but I like them, so yeah, I pass. I guess you could say pass. Yeah. I cop for sure. If I if I had access to them and I could cop them yeah. for a reasonable price, retail or reasonable yeah, yeah, price, okay. now I'm talking like that. Yeah, I cop them for sure. Like I don't know if I would rock the Air Max 95 because I don't like how they look on yeah. on me personally. But I, I love the Air Max. I feel like they'll, I feel like they'll be so hard with some double stack pants though. Yeah, that's why. That's one of the reasons why I would probably cop them with some double stack pants. Yeah, so I, sure, I'd sure. definitely cop this pack if I could if I had yeah. access to. So yeah, sure. shout out to Tom. It's a nice little cop for me. Yeah. All right, the next shoe we gonna get into is the Skunk Dunk Highs, the four twenties, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty hard. Well, these um, I me too. I went crazy over these. I, yeah. I already had them on my following list on uh, StockX, so yeah. I was like, they was already on my watch tone. Like, I want them back, but they're going for $9,000, $10,000. For real? They're going for that much. They're going for like $9,000 to $10,000. They're on my following list, though. But yeah. Maybe one day I will already copy them for my boy Tone, man. They on my copy list for sure. I got a copy. That, that's for sure a copy for me. Like, yeah. I think, uh, I I this kid. if I'm not one. mistaken, my boy Big Lou, I don't know if he got this pair or the other pair that came out, because it's like two pairs that came out. Yeah. But yeah, these for sure a copy on my list. Like, you yeah, can't go sure. wrong with these. And like, that's hard. you know, Dunks, dunks is the yeah, way, man. It's the way, dog. I'm still working on my first pair. I ain't got one yet. I'm working on it, though, yeah, man. man. So Dude, that took off on me, man. Uh, <laughs> boy, that took off on me, but I'm yeah. working on this one, man. He's definitely a cop for me. All right, so next we got the, the Black and Royal 13s, man, with the 3M on them. Oh, this is definitely a cop. Definitely a cop. But at first, I ain't gonna lie, when I posted them, I was like, I don't, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm kind of feeling them. And he told him, jumped in my DMs, going crazy behind this shoe, like, what is a cop? What are you talking about? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. At first, they kind of looked, to me, they kind of looked like some some fake, fake yeah. George that, can't, that would come out back in the day, but I don't know. They, they've been growing on me. Like, yeah, they, look, they look clean. I got this with 3M, like, they got man. the 3M on them. No, we love that 3M. The 3M on them, man. It's just, you know, it's kind of like the black and blue, the blue cement threes. It's kind of like a, just a. Yeah. An alternate color. Well, we might have to drop a little jacket for them or something. You might have to come with a little collab jacket he, or something for these. He's definitely a cop. I for seen sure. I seen Moneybag cop these not too long ago. For real? Yeah. Moneybag, like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I seen them like a few few days ago. He cop yeah. these. These is hard though. So um, don't be surprised if you see us do a little collab or something. It's like a jacket or something for these. Yeah, these you know, we gotta drop something for these for my boy Tom. These hard for sure. So sure, definitely, for sure. A cop. definitely a cop for both of us on these though, for sure. So next, man, we got the uh, Air Force One Pride, Pride Forces, man. You know, like I'm saying, I'm not a big force man myself, so I probably wouldn't cop these. It's a pass for me on the internet. I like the color. I like it's pretty cool, though. I'm from some little kickback shit, you know, some thong and shit. Tom, Tom really wanted these, though. He did. Yeah, he liked them use a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about them. I probably pass. Yeah, um, Cause it's really like an all white force. Like got the back, the back tab. Yeah, yeah. the Nike Air just colored like. 
So I no, no disrespect to the pride movement. Yeah, I ain't got yeah. nothing against it, but I don't know. It's just kind of plain. Like, yeah, kind of plain. Yeah. I feel like they could have did I'm more with sure it. Nine out of ten. If you ain't wearing no shorts, it's gonna be covered up. Like the vapor mask. I, I I I messed with the pride vapor mask they did like a, a while back. Like they had different colors. Like on the soles, it was yeah. different colors. Like I oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like them, but I don't know about these. I probably pass. So it just looked too plain. Yeah, to me. Too plain, Tom. I'm sorry, Tom. Too plain. <laughs> like I told you. Yeah, we're gonna have to pass on these. We're we'll gonna pass on. Them. All right, so next we got the Air Force One custom that he wanted to get customized from probably my like my boy Nike Mike, man. He wanted to get it, Nike Mike, to customize some of pair of these, man. So if I if I could get a pair of these, I definitely would. These kind of tough for me. I like this definitely a cop for me, even though I ain't a big force dude. But yeah, these right. tough though. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give Tom the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I like them because they kind of. Creator, they they yeah. kind of like deconstructed them yeah, and stuff like saying. like the material difference. Yeah, so all white once you take the little white stuff yeah. off, they they close. You know what I'm saying? So I, I go ahead and cop. I cop. probably cop if I could. Like I definitely would cop them. Like I ain't go. I ain't gonna knock them. I, I see tone vision on these. Yeah, so for yeah. sure, for sure, yeah, so for sure. But these are cop. All right, for last but not least, man, we got the the uh, Jordan One Obsidian. Um, what is that? Jordan One with. He's Japan, Japan, right? Japan, yeah, the Japan's. These came out in 01, I believe, oh, the last yeah. time they released. Yeah, these two, I, I did, these been on my cop this, like, then, since I first seen them, so I definitely want these, man, for sure, for sure. Yeah, like, definitely a cop. I don't even have too much to say about them. It's yeah. definitely a cop, cop for me. Definitely, like, definitely. Last time they came out was, like, in 01, I was, yeah. like, in the third, fourth grade, so. <laughs> for sure, yeah. I definitely got to cop these, so. For sure, I, for sure. I, I, I fuck with Tony. Definitely, he's, they must he's a must cop. cop. Hopefully we we got access to them over here in like in the yeah, states. Yeah, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that will come out here. Yeah. yeah. So these are must cop for me. Let us yeah. know how y'all feel about these shoes in the comments too. Yeah. So all of let let us know. You know what I'm saying? What what you think? Which ones would you cop and which ones would you pass on? Yeah. But these are cops for me. Yeah, you wrap this up, with me wrap yeah, it up one time. We appreciate man. everybody for tuning in another week. We sorry we kept y'all away, but you know. It kind of hurt us, the loss of a tone. It kind of yeah. hurt us real, real deep. So I just want to take this time to shout out a tone and just show him. Tone, baby. I love you, I love you, bro. I just want to shout him out, tell him how grateful I am. Yeah, man. Without tone, I don't know where I would be. Um, yeah, yeah. He introduced me to so many outlets. I don't know if I would know the people I know right now. Like he introduced me to a lot of people in college. So. I don't know where I would be without this man. Like this man just open, embraced me with open arms. Like yeah. he didn't know me. Like I just started messing with him at parties, and he just embraced me with open arms. So salute to that man. Like that's a real, he a real legend. Not only me, but he embraced everybody in the city. Like kids, he wanted to see everybody make it, man. And that's what it's about. When you go, when you die, what can you say you did? Like. What can you say you did like like this man has a resume like his legacy like so he helped so many helped help so many kids get to where they was going like he helped so many people like like I just can't I it's just so much I gotta say but just shout out to Aton man like yeah. rest in peace to my brother like I love you brother like I just I can't say no more. Like you said, man, it's time to open up the door for a lot of people, man. Introduced us to a lot of stuff, gave me a lot of gems, man. Put me on a lot, made me push my clothing line back like I was. He's the reason why I gave up my job to push my clothing line like the way I am. And made, made us push so hard for us to shoot Sunday Night Kick Talk each and every Sunday. You know what I'm saying? He was supposed to be a big part of our show, man. We, 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 he was supposed to be one of our guests, man. Yeah. Like. We, I didn't have a kiss. He was, he was about to like, skits for us and all. Skits, yeah. Like we looking forward yeah. to doing this, and we we was like looking forward to having them a part of our show. Like how brother man from the fifth floor was a part of Martin. He's gonna be like a part of it to our show. To our show, yeah. So man, it just hurt us, man, that he gone so soon, dog. But we gonna stay strong for your tone, strong, man. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Just everybody out there, stay like I know we. I bought muffins for sure. Everybody bro. taking it hard, like. If you watching this, just stay strong. Like do it for tone, whatever. Yeah, whatever Fido, your reason Fino, is. Molly Mile, Gucci, Mile, Icy Mike, Smoke, Bino, Roro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. List goes on, Cam Droid. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? List goes on. Stay strong, baby. We, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all this together, man. You know what I'm saying? Tone's gonna live on through us, man, for sure. For sure. Like, just, you know, keep it going, man. 
Sir. So I guess that's it for the Sunday night kick talk. Man, make sure y'all subscribe and like, share us out. I'm gonna be back next week strong. Strong one, even and harder, better, baby. Just as fade tone, baby. You know what I'm saying? Alright, man. Peace. The whole motherfucking street, nigga. You feel What the fuck going on? How the motherfucker? Hey, DQ. How the motherfucker nigga do? Bum my shit, nigga. Real bum my shit, nigga. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta show us that. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> nah, nigga, go. Delete that shit. Delete all that shit. The boy in the Come middle on. of the street, y'all. You got me Say stopping. Nigga. Hey, this three, this three seven eight. <laughs>